Hey everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. Happy Monday. I'm excited to be back and share another fun little machine quilting video with you. So last Monday, you may have remembered I shared a little bit of ruler work with you that I was doing on Mariah's stunning elephant quilt. And today I'm going to share just a little bit more. So if you didn't see last week's video, make sure you pause, go back and watch last week's video, and then come and watch this video. They kind of go together. So kind of a two-part thing on this really cool elephant quilt. A few of the products that I am using here on this particular quilt, you will see that I'm going to be doing quite a bit of ruler work. My favorite ruler to use is my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, or a lot of times if I do want a really great straight edge ruler, also my inside out machine quilting ruler or my trailer ruler are all great straight line rulers. So let's get stitching. So here's Mariah's beautiful elephant quilt before I did any machine quilting. This is a right out of the box with a few folds, but obviously we'll spritz and iron all of those out before we do any machine quilting. So it's kind of fun to see though how you can really take a quilt and bring it to life with my custom machine quilting. In the video that I mentioned that I shared with you last week, I did show you a lot of the straight line quilting that I did more on the body of the elephant. Today I'm going to show you a bit of the quilting that I did on the background. Now because this quilt Mariah and I decided to do a lot of straight line quilting, keep it really really crisp and clean. I've shared a few other of these beautiful elephant quilts with you that I've quilted before and it's fun to quilt them all different ways and different styles for their individual owners. So this one we tried to keep it as geometric as possible and I really think we created a fabulous result. In the whole entire background filler, this whole background is done using this beautiful kind of mustard color. Obviously, this is a high contrast color and I'm creating a lot of texture with my machine quilting because it's a solid fabric and I am using one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe Batting here. You can pick up the batting, the thread, all the other products that I'm using here over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. I did switch, so in a lot of the videos that I show you, I mention how often I stick with just a simple one color, but on this quilt, I did use a few different thread colors. So on all of the background, I used a mustard color that blends in really nicely with all of the background. On the body of the quilt, on all the grays, I stuck with a gray color, top and bottom. And then on all the white sections, I actually also switched to a white color of thread. So there were a few different thread color changes on this quilt. Now, on the elephant himself, I did a lot of quilting that kind of radiates out from the center and really is focusing on bringing the elephant to life with machine quilting. Now, out here on the background, I want it to look more like a background, like some type of art. So, for the whole background filler, I'm stitching my lines a little bit further apart. They're all half inch spaced, but they are still pretty heavy, so I don't feel like my background is quilted a lot less dense you know it's still a pretty heavy background filler but i looked at the background on this quilt and because it is a paper piece quilt so there's a lot of kind of funky pieces different things like that with a lot of these quilts that i've done i've just stitched right over all those piece lines in the background but with this one to give it kind of that art look that beautiful kind of abstract geometric look i'm playing off of every single one of those pieces so I'm stitching an inside echo that does spiral right into itself. Here I'm stitching on the where the blocks run into the outside of the block, so I or the outside of the quilt, so I can just run my stitching right off the edge. But when I w start working my way more towards the center, I will stitch spirals starting from the outside and spiral spiraling right into the center. By doing this, yes, there is a lot of stops and starts as I do move towards the center and have blocks that are complete blocks that don't run off the edge. But for me to achieve this type of a result, kind of the abstract art result, the extra step of stopping and starting was totally worth it. And sometimes it's just worth taking the extra time to get the results you want.
So here are a few images of the quilt after I completed all of the custom machine quilting. I am absolutely in love with how this quilt turned out. Like I mentioned, yes, it was a lot of work. There's a lot of stops and starts and thread color changes, but to create that abstract background with the gorgeous geometric quilting on the elephant himself was really worth it. The ruler that I did use for all of my machine quilting is my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, which I mentioned. The batting, the threads, the ruler, all the products that I used here are available for purchase over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.